It is criminal how expensive groceries are these days. Every time you go to the checkout line, it is sticker shock. But what if I told you it was possible to not just eat healthy on a budget, but to eat a healthy vegan diet on an ultra low budget? It's true. In this exam room podcast flashback, dietitian Lee Crosby and I went to a boutique grocery store in the heart of the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., filled up an entire cart of groceries with enough to feed two people for an entire week, and we did it for just $40. And when you crunch those numbers, that is less than $3 per person per day. So how can you be vegan on an ultra low budget? Less than $3 per day? Well, let's find out. All right, Lisa, just upstairs now on the Exam Room Podcast, you talked about all of these tips on how to save money. The right. show, of course, being vegan on a budget. And then, of course, the challenge is, well, how do we implement that? So we just so happen to be lucky enough to have a grocery store that is two floors down called Rodman's right here in beautiful Northwest DC. That plays dramatic music. It does. It does indeed <laughs> play dramatic music. I don't know if this is Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky, I don't know. But the bottom line is this. We're going to do some shopping. We we're going to shop for a week for a couple, That's I do right. believe, two yep. people. And uh, we're going to see how well we do implementing those tips. Yeah. And right. this is at a grocery store right here in downtown DC. So the prices are a little higher here potentially than they might be somewhere right. further out. But we'll see, actually. I think this could be very this could be good. Let's see how we do. Okay, right. so we're starting in this aisle uh, where I see olives <laughs> and things. We're in this aisle. Yeah, so this is actually a great place to start because we're in the bean aisle. Right. So plant-based diet, again, we know beans are loaded with soluble fiber, fiber, protein, all kinds of great stuff. So we're going to go ahead and grab a can of chickpeas. So That's a, dollar, a staple. A dollar nineteen, right? A staple on salads, bean salads. It goes in anything. Big fan of chickpeas. I can't have a salad now without them. I know they start to become a thing. They make a really good two no salad too. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey. All right, so now onto the dried beans. So these are another staple. They're unbelievably inexpensive when you look at them on a per serving basis. So here, I think the ones that are our best price are going to be the small red beans and the split peas. So you can make a great split pea stew with these. Delicious. All right, and I believe each of those is coming in around a dollar nineteen and a dollar fifty nine for a pound bag. Now, would you say that the red bean is a versatile bean? Because I've is. used that in a number of recipes myself. Oh yeah, you can use it in chilies and tacos. You can put it over a salad if you just cook them up. So yeah, they can do anything. Okay. So now we've got our dried beans. We've got our canned beans. We do. Oh, but wait, we almost walked past the canned tomatoes, which are a really affordable source of great nutrients like lycopene and vitamin A. So we're going to go ahead and grab a can. I think crushed tomatoes will work. We'll do a little chili with those red beans. What do you think? I like it. Now, you All know right. what I like about the tomato? Just saying. That's 219. The lycopene servings. Also yes. very good for the brain. It makes you happy. Doesn't See? it help produce uh, serotonin? Is, is I mean, for me it does. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So moving on. So we're actually, rice is another great staple that's really inexpensive, but I wasn't feeling rice for this particular week, so we're going to walk on past it but you know, feel free. There will be no rice. So many varieties. You can see that even in a smaller grocery store, so many different options. Well, they even have quinoa here. <laughs> they do, they have quinoa in multiple aisles. Next up, the pasta aisle. This is one of the great things about eating plant-based. You get to have pasta back. Thank you, <laughs> thank you music. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and grab a bag of the spaghetti, so we're gonna keep on going. Okay, you find that the bag spaghetti is less expensive than in a box is that yep, just a okay sure do. so that's a good tip right there yeah so grab a bag of spaghetti because here we're looking at a dollar 49 in a bag and that's going to be four servings let me make sure that that's all the servings i had calculated for the week two bags two just bags. kidding <laughs> because who doesn't love pasta all right onwards as the angels continue to sing on high <laughs> that's great to the next aisle. Now we're entering snack territory because what's a day without a snack, right? Now this is kind of a dangerous aisle though because it if is. you shop when you're hungry, yeah, there no. goes your budget. Yeah, blinders on for this aisle and we are going to get right in this person's way. Excuse me. <laughs> Popcorn. Good call. Whole grain, relatively inexpensive, delicious. You can air pop it in an air popper. You can do it in a microwave in a paper lunch bag. So there are lots of different ways you can do this. I didn't know you, you don't could have do to. That. 
Yeah, yeah. We can we can talk about that. We can put that on the show notes page. Yes. Neat. True. All right. How much do you find that you typically save buying the popcorn and popping it yourself versus buying a bag that's pre-popped for you? You know, I haven't bought a pre-popped bag in so long because it's so cheap and easy to do it myself. I honestly don't know, but I would say a, at least a factor of two or three. Or I, would, I would think so. Even yeah. with the microwave bags that you can put in there that are pre-seasoned right? and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but those also have a lot of oil in them typically. Indeed. So you get a lot of stuff you don't want and a lot of cost you don't want either. <laughs> All right. All right. The frozen food aisle. Well, this no. is a good one. Hold on, Lee. I have to stop you what, first what? because Oh no. <laughs> I just I I needed to point this out because I know that when I buy seltzer water, I always want it to be seedless. <laughs> I'm, you know, I seedless, hate it when there are seedless seeds. watermelon. I know. How many times I've been so disappointed in the, the past with my sparkling water. I just can't stand it. Right? I have frozen food. I All are, right. So, Chuck, why don't you for? grab us a bag of that nice chopped spinach right there? So, chopped six spinach. servings in that bag right there for $2.59. How many meals do you find? Well, six servings. Does that mean for two people, that's just three meals worth of spinach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as you guys know, if you've ever like sauteed spinach, it starts out gigantic and cooks down to nothing. So this has already basically been partly down to nothing, so you're gonna get a lot more out of that than you would out of a giant tub. Cool. So usually one of those bags, give or take, is about a giant tub. What would you typically do with the uh, frozen spinach? What's your go-to? So I like to do something I call pizza spinach, which is basically to cook up the spinach with some garlic and then cover it in pizza sauce. It tastes really good. That actually does sound it's pretty really good. It's really tasty, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you can also stir it into soups and that kind of thing. Okay, I like the pizza spinach. <laughs> Who knew? You bet. You learned so much in this job. I'm telling you. All right, so these are good options. Some of these, you know, the vegan burritos, but they are also a little pricier and they tend to have some added oil. So again, for this, we're just gonna walk on by this. Yeah, just to give you an idea, each vegan burrito there is at least $3. Wow. Yeah. So again, if you make your own beans from dry and you buy some tortillas, you can get a much better deal on that. Absolutely. For not a lot of work, make them in advance and freeze them the same way. We have one more stop before we head over to the produce aisle, which is my favorite. But first, we're going to stop off and get some really whole, whole grain bread here. So you can always turn it over. It's 100% whole wheat. That's what you're looking for when you want to buy a loaf of bread. Um, and you can double check and make sure not so much with the animal ingredients, none of those. It has wheat and soy, but not animals. So this is a fantastic choice. In it goes. And you don't want multi-grain, correct? Well, you could if you, if you wanted. But again, a nice way to check is to look. Sometimes there will be a seal that says 100% whole grain, but you can also turn it over. So this would be whole grain, and you see it says 100%. That's an easy mark to know that you've got something good. So more bang for your nutritional buck. Correct. Correct. Gotcha. So since these are the big slices, there are 16 servings in here, and this is clocking in at $2.99. So that's a pretty good deal. Good deals. We're going to get some peanut butter to go with this. Don't worry. <laughs> crunchy or creamy? Ooh, that's a judgment call. I don't know. What's your favorite? Got to go crunchy. All right, crunchy it is. Got to go crunchy. All right, so now we're going to hit some of those really inexpensive plant-based staples that we talked about. Produce aisle is a great place for everyone to spend most of their shopping time. So number one is going to be bananas. We're gonna go for about six of these. Two, three, four, five, can I count? And six, in they go. Well, look at what I stumbled across. They, they actually made it easy. Rodman's Produce Specials, they printed it up, all the produce oh, that they have on sale. Fantastic. Pretty neat, well, we're huh? definitely gonna hit them up on the cantaloupes there. Yeah. For sure. I'm a big fan of cantaloupe. Oh, ditto, ditto. Big all fan. right, so. Actually, while we're here, we can go ahead and grab some potatoes. Let's see how many we have on our list. Let's see, potatoes, we're gonna get a five pound bag of potatoes and then grab a pound of sweet potatoes. Uh, I guess these are the five pound that bags. That looks like here. the five pound bag to me. Excellent. About five pounds. I don't even know if we need a plastic bag for this. Idaho potatoes. Can't get your potatoes from anywhere else. Gotta be from Idaho. <laughs> I'm going to go with this being about a pound. That might not be quite right. It might be a little shorter, a little. Is there a scale? Do you want to weigh There out? is. So it's a little off to start. Oh, it's a little more than a pound, but not much. We're talking like a pound, not even a pound and a quarter. So I'm going to go with that. And the price per pound on those are? 89 cents. That's a bargain. It is. All right. So this is going to be challenging because we are going to shoot the moon here. 
We'll go sure. right Ooh, down look this at you with the card aisle. turns. Okay, now this is another great place to check out one of the tips we talked about, and that's unit pricing. So these cantaloupes are $1.99 each, but they can be drastically different sizes. So I didn't even plan this, but this is kind of a handy example. So $1.99, $1.99. You can so, obviously see the difference, yeah. but let's let's weigh those and sure, check it out. Sure, let's weigh it and see what happens. Okay, so cantaloupe number one. What are we looking at? Mm, a little under three pounds, two and a half pounds. Yeah. And then cantaloupe number two. Wow. So we're looking at four and a quarter. Same price. So to your call, they both smell pretty good. So you don't even have to compromise on the quality. All right, in it goes. So we've got that. Next up, we are going to get some red leaf lettuce and some cabbage. Now, the cabbage is on a per pound basis, so we can't use that same trick. We're actually going to grab a smaller head, but you can see how inexpensive it is, 79 cents per head of cabbage, and there are a lot of servings. I don't know when you've ever cut up a cabbage, all of a sudden it's like you have this giant pile and you're done. So you think that's even a pound there? I would, let's find out. It's like a game. All right. So two oh, pounds. it's almost two pounds, yeah. This is unit pricing, one sixty nine each. It is. Now, I don't know if that's going to be such a different size. Oh. Yeah, see that? See? This is why you pay attention. There you go. Good work, Chuck. All right, Thank yeah, you. grab that one. All right. you got to eat your leafy so, greens. That's why we're a doing twofer. the spinach, the lettuce, the cabbage. Are you noticing? We're getting a lot of veggies we're here. sensing a theme. All right, let me make sure. Oh, wait, but wait. Carrots, check out this price tag. 89 cents for a one pound bag. We are getting five of these because for lunch, so great. For snacks, also great. Good in soups. You can put this in chili too. You can put anything in chili really. Now you're grabbing five of those for am, 89 cents each? That is correct. There's you want to go ahead a and grab? five pound bag for $4. What? This is why so. it also pays to go shopping with someone who's paying attention. All you need in one bag. That's right. That's convenience right there. Right? Okay. We got that bananas, we carrots. got cabbage, we got carrots, we got potatoes and sweet potatoes. I think we might actually be done in cantaloupe. We're done in the produce aisle. Oh, wow. All right, next up to the breakfast aisle. So aisle two here. You lead the way. On it. Again, these, very, very expensive. Just another good reason to not come to the store hungry. No, we're going to stop at the oatmeal section. That should have been my first guess. Come on, I know, right? Maybe not this particular one. <laughs> We'll see. So really high in fiber, 13, no, 30 servings in here. So nice. you're getting an awful lot for, what is this? $3.49. So that's a lot of oatmeal. That will last a while for sure. Oh yeah. And then we're just shopping for a week. So you're gonna have leftover, unless you have a really big appetite. Onwards, we have one more stop, and that is the critical peanut butter stop. <laughs> Can't shop without getting peanut butter. <laughs> that's right. Okay, now if you're trying to keep your fat content a little lower, you might want to do something like a PB2, which is a powdered peanut butter, but because they're a little more processed in their specialty item, they tend to cost more. So we are gonna go with good old fashioned regular peanut butter. Let's see. All right, and that means we're probably gonna have, yep, roasted peanuts, sugar, a little bit of palm oil and salt, but mostly just nuts. But you can find peanut butter that is literally just peanuts, right? You can. You may pay a little bit more for it. I wonder. Isn't here, that unfair? It, it is. <laughs> like, there's less sense. stuff in there, but yet you're paying a higher price. That's right. Riddle me this, nutritionist. All right. Can you buy peanuts in bulk and make your own peanut butter at home cheaper? Probably. I've never been motivated enough to do that, but I think you probably could. Mm. I wonder if you have a blender, if you can make that happen. I don't know. I've never made peanut butter. A high-powered blender, you can. Okay. Um, you can do it in a food processor, too. It just takes a lot of patience sure. and more patience than I actually have. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Say no more. I have many virtues. Patience, not so much one of them. Okay. So have we completed our shopping? I think shopping? we've completed. This is pretty, pretty nice that. little haul for a week, but we're going to go see that is how, a much full it, how much it right costs. There. Yeah. So we have lunches. We have dinner items. We have lots of veggies. We have our bananas. Oh, they got buried with the lettuce. Oh, dear. So again, lots of good staples here. Now let's go see how much this is going to run us. Well, hello there. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I feel like it just—it can't go too high. It just no, can't. I'm feeling good about this. We're more than halfway through. Okay, don't jinx planning this out. Did you have meals in mind for all of this? I kind of did. Yeah. I do a lot of this, honestly. Where some meal, some weeks I do real meal planning, but I do a lot of winging it. Wow. I just buy staples and say, all right, let's see what we're gonna do. Now some weeks that works out better than others. But wait. 
It's just the cabbage that's left. No. So anyway, the total here, $40.64. $40.64. That is really for remarkable. For an awful lot of food and really great nutrition. For two people for a full week. That's right. Let's Can't hear it for Rodman's. Yeah. Look at that. Bravo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I just want to say we ended up at $40.64 for the week. So for two people on a per person per day basis, that's $2.90 per person per day. That's a pretty good deal considering what you get, which is more than four vegetable servings, more than one fruit serving, more than six grains and other starches, so things like sweet potato and the white potatoes, and then about four servings of beans and nuts per day. So it's an incredibly healthy day for an incredibly healthy week for two people for $40. That is incredible. Right? I mean, you are a talented, talented lady. I've done this once or twice. I mean, I'm super impressed with you right now. Now, if only I shop this way every week, I, know. I confess. I go to the store hungry sometimes, that freezer aisle with all the prepared, easy, you know, vegan stuff. It'll it's tempting. You. It'll it does. Get you. It'll but get you. this can be done, and I have done it. And actually, you can end up, it forces you to make some really cool foods when you get home because you're like, all right, it's what I have. Let's get creative. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah. On the chef's hat. Have Pretty some much. Fun. Yep. Yeah. I got the chef jacket. Right on. I'm not a chef, but <laughs> I dress like one sometimes. <laughs> Lee Crosby, you are a magician. All right. There you have it. Inflation through the roof, but it is still possible to not just eat a healthy diet, but a healthy vegan diet for less than $3 per day. You say, hallelujah, it's a solution, and it's called eating a healthy plant-based diet. If your health IQ was a couple of points higher than it was a few minutes ago, go ahead and like this video or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And to take it even higher, head over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite shows. Look for the exam room by the Physicians Committee. Hit the subscribe button there as well and help to make your world a healthier place.